Hey there, I'm Eric Davis, and this is Ignite Intelligence, a video training series designed to help you, our clients, get even better at marketing. Today, I want to talk about customer lifetime value, which is one way to measure ROAS. ROAS means return on ad spend, because as an advertiser, you should know if I give a media company, an agency, a set amount of money, I want to make more than that back. I want it to be profitable. Many businesses are looking for a 3x ROAS, so I give a media company 10 grand, I want 30 back. If that's your expectation, which it should be, customer lifetime value is a measurement you can use um, when you have clients that are coming back again over time. And so many business owners think of this agency, this media company got me a new client, a new lead, and I'm gonna make X off this one transaction. But the truth is thinking of things in a single transaction ignores the projected revenue you get as customers come back again and again over time. And it's really important to pay attention to that. So if you have a business where people are coming back regularly, you can use customer lifetime value to measure the projected revenue you're likely to get off the average tenure and the average frequency of a client that you acquire. There's a specific um, equation for that. It's very simple. You just need to know, what do I make off a single transaction? I'm, I'm a dry cleaner. When someone comes in on average and uses my dry cleaning services, after expenses, I make X. Second, how often do people come back and use my service? Monthly, quarterly, annually? What's that frequency per year? And then lastly, how long do I retain customers? I'm a dry cleaner. On average, people stick with me for five years before something changes. Those are the three elements of the equation at the bottom there. Profit per single transaction, frequency over the course of the month to year, times the number of years and tenure. That's CLV, customer lifetime value. And to make it easy, if you happen to be a restaurateur, which you may not be, you may know that when someone comes in, new customer to eat in my restaurant and make $15 after expenses. You should also take into consideration as a restaurateur, people rarely eat alone. So if a new customer comes in from your marketing efforts, you should probably assume it's at least a two top. So that $15 just turned into 30. However, also keep in mind, if you have great food, clean environment, great staff, people don't eat at your restaurant once per month. On average, you may say they eat at my restaurant twice a month, maybe in three times a month, but we'll go for two for now. So that means that $30 profit is actually 60 if they come in twice per month. Lastly, as a business owner, you may know great restaurant. When people come and eat here, I continue to see them come in unless they move you know, they decide to change their eating preferences, turn vegan, pass away, whatever the case is, but I know I'm going to keep them for about two years. So now you have the elements of the equation. $30 per visit times twice per month. It's actually $60 per month. That $60 times the average tenure of 24 months means that you actually are going to project about $1,400 in profit for every new person that comes into your restaurant from a marketing campaign which is fantastic because now you can look at your agency, us, someone else and say, I know I spent $5,000 a month last month with you. You just showed me 10 new people coming to my restaurant. And I know over the next two years, I'm gonna make about $14,000 off those two people or those 10 people that walked in. So I can clearly see the return on my ad spend. Customer lifetime value reveals that. So if you have repeat customers, use this equation to your advantage. And if you have any questions, we're always here to help.